Hi, I'm Sam Corkies from EVSC and I'm joined by our head electrician, Julian, and we're gonna show you today how to service and maintain an AC charger to ensure that it has the longest possible longevity, that it is electrically safe for the end users, and importantly, that you meet and follow AS3000 requirements around periodic maintenance of an EV charger. And this is very important if your charger is available to the public or in a fleet or business setting. So AC chargers are relatively simple. First thing we need to do is do a visual inspection of the charger. We wanna ensure all the connections to the charger are proper, the isolation is there, that the charger is clean, free from rust, is well mounted. And then once we've done that, we can get into the nuts and bolts and actually start testing this charger's functionality. So step one, let's actually use the isolator and make sure that it works. So let's turn it off. Perfect, it's isolated the charger and we'll do a quick function test to make sure it's fully isolated and we'll then open the unit up and get started. Now, after we isolated the charger, we want to double check if it's actually isolated. By doing a simple voltage test to the charger. Now after we checked the oscillator is worked correctly and the charge is off, we can start opening the charger and check the components inside. Now after we open the charger, we'll check the electrical connections, making sure there is no loose connections, making sure there is no hot join. We'll check the earth, making sure it's nice and tight as well. And we'll do visual examination for the charger inside, making sure there is no rust, there is no water leak anywhere. And this is how we do a simple visual examination inside the charger. Now we can close it and we can do a functional test. So now that we've done the visual inspections, it's now time to actually do the functional test. This will ensure the electrical safety of this product. Now we use specific test equipment provided by Metro with the base unit, as well as this adapter. This adapter allows you to plug into both socketed and cabled AC chargers of any brand and do your testing. Now we highly recommend these for any electrician doing service maintenance because it allow you to actually test all the components, especially the RCBOs and making sure that they trip at the appropriate times based on standards. So let's get into it. Now we have the, all, all the equipment ready, we can start doing functional tests. This test, it works as a car simulator. So this adapter now works as an EV car and it will, it will check the communication between the EV car and the charger. Now the nice thing about the Metro, it actually has a fully automated sequence, which Julian will be kind of running through right now. Uh, and what you can also do is simulate different functions of the vehicle, which yeah. we'll simulate now. Now we can start, turn it on. Now we see that there is a communication between the car, the car simulator and the charger. There we go. Now we start charging and we can checklist all these options and we save the test. So the next step that you need to do is test the voltage. So with the single phase charger, you only have to test the single phase and for three phases, you need to test all three phases. Now Julian's loaded up the voltage uh, tester already and we simply move this to the on position. Once we do that, the voltage will show here and we need to ensure that there's an appropriate voltage and that's passed. And then the last test that we have to do is the RCD test. Now this is an important test around electrical safety. Now depending on the EV charger, some have a type A plus six milliamp DC leakage device or a type B RCD, which is in present in the IQ commercial. Depending on that RCD, you need to uh, choose the appropriate testing uh, sequence to ensure that you do that. So let's do it. Now we can start testing. We switch on the car simulator. and that trip the, the breaker of the charger and upstream board. And that's the RCD test passing. 
So guys, obviously you still need to check all the electricity supplies to the EV distribution board, the RCDs and RCBOs at the distribution board. But we wanted to give you a super quick summary about how to service and maintain an EV charger. So on behalf of the team, happy charging.